Now, unfortunately, it was not. And you're probably wondering what on earth Jamie is talking about, but David will show you in a minute. We've got a crocodile. We're at one of the crossings near the Mara River, well, on the Mara River, and you can see that there are some black and white stripes underneath its head. Now, it's not an entire zebra. It's just part of a zebra. Oh, it's got it in its mouth. So David and I were trying to figure out at the angle that we were at. It looked like he was, he, I presume it's, he is quite big. Well, maybe it could be a she too. Uh, was trying to figure out exactly uh, what it was doing. Oh my goodness. And I, that is the head of the zebra too. So it's the head to the left and the rest of the neck to the right. Now I apologize. I, well, I shouldn't have to apologize for nature, but I know that this can be not the nicest thing to see. Um, but it is just one of those things and uh, it's wild this nature this crocodile needs to eat too But it doesn't look like it's particularly fresh It almost looks like the stripes have actually faded right off of the zebra and I think that's just the skin And basically rotting so maybe it's stashed it somewhere around here and it's been feeding on it for you know quite some time Very very cool though to see something like that. I, I thought it was using it as a pillow and as a turn that was amazing <laughs> now, Siberia Zumi, you also said a pillow. Well, that's what I thought. I literally thought it had its jaws shut and it just had its head rested up because the initial angle that we had, that's what it looked like. But clearly it's not. It's obviously planning on eating it at some point and now it looks like it's really just protecting it because it's not chewing it. It's not trying to tear it apart. I don't think it would be able to swallow that hole though. That that's massive it, it might have to try and somehow um, get chunks of it off and that's of course why they often leave their kills under rocks and things like that so that they start to rot the flesh becomes easier to remove and and then they'll eat it that way but it is easy at the moment because of all the animals doing crossings and all the unfortunate zebra wildebeest to, uh, you know, Topi, Thompson's Gazelle, anyone that has tried to cross if they've drowned or maybe they were killed by crocodiles. Uh, There's so many of them around, so it's easier for them to feed, being able, all, all of them being able to hold on to a part and sort of just doing the death roll and tearing chunks off that way. Very interesting though, but let's keep going. Let's see what other amazing things we've got along the river. This is road. No cats just yet, so I'm, I'm just keeping an eye out around here, though you never know, it could be a leopard sitting in one of these very big trees. 